Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the Git component bounds node. So the Git component bounds node is pretty simple. We tell it which component we want to get the bounds of, and it gives us, us the bounds. So in my example, you can see a black box around this item right here, this little stick that our character is holding. You'll notice that the box itself, the black box, the bounds, is moving as the item moves. So what I'm doing is every tick, I'm grabbing the component bounds of my item and then outputting that to a debug box. Get component bounds needs a component. So a scene component object reference somewhere in the world is usually going to be something like a mesh or something you want to, you know, the bounds of. The bounds are basically the dimensions or the outside as a box representation or a sphere representation of the extents or the outside part of your item. So let me show you a little bit better here. We'll plug in our capsule component off of our target. We're going to hit play again. And you notice the box is around our character here. And you notice it's higher than our character. You notice it's in front of our character. And it's not really moving. If we look at our character itself, this item here, this rounded part, that is the capsule that I'm checking against. And it doesn't move. It's not animated. It's got a fixed bounce. For outputs, we have an origin, so basically the center point of our component bounds. And then we have a box extent, or the outer points, or a sphere radius. Well, technically and. You can use both. And the sphere radius, we'll plug that in here. So we'll do our origin to our center point, and we'll do our sphere radius to our radius, and we'll this pump's 24. We're going to go ahead and run this again. And you notice I now have this little pink sphere, which represents a radius for our extents. You'll notice it covers the same basic stuff. The bottom part here, the top part, and then it goes and goes to our outside radius. If we were to cover this on, like, for example, our stick, and hit play again, you'll notice it encompasses our box, our box extents and our box radius, and then our sphere itself surrounds it. And these are useful if you just need to find out Maybe if something's overlapping, or maybe something is within the same area as something else. And that's what the component bound is useful for. You can also use it for collision, as you saw here. Maybe you want to completely encompass the item during a collision check, and you can just do a quick sphere or box extent check to see if anything's inside the area before you maybe do some more robust calculation. And that's it. Simple node. Takes in a component outputs the bounds in both a box and sphere form with the origin being the center point the box extent being the outer extents and this radius being the radius of the sphere